Hello magpies, it's time for some more Civilization 6. Let's get swooped on. Alright, so it's been a little while since I played this, so let's see if I remember what was actually what I was actually doing. So, last time, as my memory recalls. The thriving civilization worshipping the old ones below the sea and beyond the stars. This would be a lot more dramatic without the, the without the waltzing Matilda in the background. Uh, this thriving, this new and beginning to thrive civilization continued their expansion, fueled by their faith in the old ones and the leadership of the Void Singers. Out of the necessity to suppress the other tribes who thought to thought to thwart our expansion. A professional warrior class began to emerge from these crossbowmen units. A secular king arrived, and we entered a stage of monarchy in our government. At the same time, the Void Singers continued their work on a vast mausoleum beside Sydney, said to contain the spirits of the Old Ones not yet not dead, but sleeping, awaiting for the time when the stars are right to arise. As the seas opened up their secrets to us and we began to travel across the open ocean, this brought us into direct contact and conflict with our neighbors. And this, this shall be the character of the, of the uh, story of our people to come. One of defending our borders from foreign religions. Of exercising our right to independence against the Indonesians and the other uh, civilizations who impede our rightful path as prescribed by the Void Singers. And it's only a matter of time before this comes to conflict. For oh, being a religious civilization, we do not exactly have the most uh, flexible way of thinking when it comes to our manifest destiny. It's an old story, it's been done before. So, let's dive right on in and let me think, so what do I need to do? Um, well, I want to move you along. Uh, check you up to Brisbane. Only got a couple of spots to improve there, but we're going to continue building our fisheries. Uh, we need to at some point get you back here to promote you. And then, yeah, it's just more expansion, more of the same. With a little bit more geopolitics starting to emerge, I think. We got our apostle coming up to deal with these guys. Um, Mulan here, we're going to see how that develops. And yeah, yeah. So this would probably be a good as time as any. We finally build our government plaza. Yep, yep. Oh, you better not. You better not. Yeah, so I took a week off making videos and such because I uh, had a... I hurt my back. Um, who would have thought it, but uh, having half of the half of the bones in your body exposed to the open air turns out that uh, death is not a good, uh, not very good for the bones. Now, this guy right here. I have been waiting for these guys to emerge, be able to cross the ocean to get to them. Because they have an excellent, see, shallow water tiles provide a plus one production.
Yeah, there we go. Suddenly, the seas are so much more productive for us. So, we got this guy in the right position now. I think we should be good. Oh yes, that's right. We had this guy exploring the world. Well, we're just going to do a little sneaky weeky over to the uh, or to the edge of Scandinavia. Come down, uh, probably come out um, across the English Channel. Then we're going to head over to the Americas and gradually make our way home. I could try to go into the Mediterranean. In democracy, it's your vote that counts. In feudalism, it's your count that votes. I love that quote. Um, probably lose the wonder one now. Yeah, that looks good. Sixty. Yeah, what the hell? We got a caravel, boys. Yeah, you better run. Okay, yeah, okay. We got a few turns before they rebel, so. That's going to give us a governor to shore up their um, their loyalty. Okay, now guilds very important, civ uh, very important uh, social policy for Australia. It might be worth now starting to save our money for. Um, buying builders to maximize our yield we can wait until Liang is uh, settled there Put our military on standby. I would like to start building some quadrimes. As they will be updated once I start getting gunpowder. I'm going to make some gunships. And then we should be able to start putting pressure on our neighbours. As I move out into the wider world and start a build battle. Ah, there we were talking. Just talking about gunpowder. Let's see. Two sources of nitre. One there. I think that's. Yeah. <laughs> well, good thing I built that then. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was lucky. This game has been pretty unlucky so far. But that was an excellent stroke of luck. Uh, let's just take the gold for now. We've got plenty of soldiers standing by to back them up. Yeah, alright. Pretty tempting to go straight there. But these are only three turns, so let's do them. Okay. Probably going to scare off those missionaries. In this sea, and in the midst of this solitude, rises a great somber street. A street 
for no human footsteps. None ever pass through there. No ship ever ventures in. So I'm interested to see how my audio sounds on this recording. I haven't been too happy with my audio. But hey, that's exactly what these videos are for. For me to practice recording and figuring out what works and what doesn't. Oh, we got another gunpowder there. Excellent. We need to get some more builders soon. We're an awful lot to expand. And we want to get our threatening navy up and running too. We're all apprentices in a craft where no one ever becomes a master. Yep, you said it. Ernest. Ernie boy. Oh, hold up. That looks like a city-state there. So I won't be able to get around this way, but I'm going to organize the open borders anyway, just so I can get close enough to see the city-state. Yeah, 10 gold, that's good enough. Oh, education. Yeah, we need that. We need that. That is our priority. So as I was saying, as we enter into the sort of the wider woolly world here, we're going to encounter quite a few... Uh, We're going to discover that we are not as strong against other civilizations as we are against barbarians. We have fallen very far behind on the tech tree. Which is to be expected. I am I am but a mere humble undead wizard. I am not our lord and savior, Potato McWhiskey. I do not know how to play this game. At least to not to that degree. Okay, I was hoping they would be here too. This is the other one I want. Districts next to coastal lake tars provide plus two culture. That will get us uh, competitive with our culture boosts. And what do they want? Great scientist. I'm unlikely to end up with that. All right, now I want them to start. Go and find the Americas. Oh, thank you. Yes, please. Shadra Gupta. All right. Yeah, get on out. Yeah, and get. I think that level up on that crossbowman will allow me to name them now. Since that's a thing I'm apparently doing. Got faster sea travel turned on. Oh, it's actually not a not a city state. It's Amsterdam, which is about to go British. Oops.
So I'm glad that the total of civilizations keeps uh, wearing down. It will make this a lot easier in the end game. Uh oh. Canaveron is has converted. Not ideal. Okay, yeah, we can name them. We will call them... The Long Vipers. A little bit phallic. Okay. And we want Warlord's Throne. A little bit of spoiler. But yeah. We are not the good guys in this story. I mean, shh, we totally are the good guys in this story. Okay. Get some builders. We probably want lighthouse. Lighthouse is a high priority. Ah, I'm growing fine as it is. Oh look, we can get the dam now. We're gonna do that soon. Yeah, let's do dam now. Start getting our industrial zone up and banging. And we're going to focus on walls as well, because walls are increased in value during the monarchy uh, government. Okay, who do we want? Pingala is always a good choice. Although... We are going down this route, aren't we? I guess it doesn't really matter. We're just using them for loyalty at this moment. I kind of want to do a playthrough at one point of Eleanor of Aquitaine, of Aquitaine here. See if I can survive the uh, European onslaught. And then have a nice uh, peaceful revolution. Conquer the world through diplomacy. The purpose of education is to replace an empty mind with an open one. Yeah. Probably need you to pull back. Can't risk losing you. I'll have you just wait just for the moment. Yeah, converted back. Alright. That's a good one. It'd be very cool to have a Venetian arsenal. I don't know if we'll have any coastal... Any coastal um, industrial zones, though. So yeah, we'll get our next level walls, and then maybe we'll start working on gunships. You know what, we must be close to another settler. If not already there. Ooh. 
So I've turned down my um, noise cancelling software and shit. Um, I don't know what whether you're going to be able to hear my aircon in the aftermath of this because the the dreaded Australian summer is arriving. So we are roughly 500 times the temperature of the surface of the sun. Oh, hello. I think I know what that is. The natural history of this archipelago is very remarkable. It seems to be a little world within itself. Oh. I wonder if Galapagos is like a massive like tourist destination for like You know, if it's been ruined now by, like, hipsters wanting to go and take, like, selfies with Galapagos turtles and shit. Fortunately, probability pretty high. Thank you. Hmm, that thing I was worried about uh, in a previous video about getting trapped in the Mediterranean by the city-state expanding there, it looks like it's probably not going to happen now. Also, I forgot to take, check if the you time. See a under fog, you must walk there to meet the extraordinary dreams. Yeah, I like that. A little bit of romanticism. Okay, we should send you down there to heal. We're just going to keep an eye on what you're up to. I don't trust you. Alright, that's Brisbane settled. They got their fisheries. Uh, let's move on to Cairns. Yes, we Cairns. Or maybe let's just build one more builder here before we do. Everything's going pretty smoothly at the moment. Hello. Very, very interesting civilization, the Incas. I'd really like to learn more about them. Um, let's just send one here to shore up our... Shore up our control a little bit. Follow the plan, we'll have an aqueduct there. Oh, we do want to settle Hobart at some point. I do kind of want to do Hobart. We could, like, get there with Melbourne, but... Let's see, 442. I'll probably have, yeah, I'll have that next turn. Yeah, we'll go Hobart next. Get some quality fisheries there. Won't be an incredibly useful, strategically useful um, city, but hey, you know, I can probably build some build ships there and stuff. 
It's sort of tempting to snap up New Zealand here because that's a lot of gunpowder. And some really nice productive tiles with it as well. Every man should make his son learn some useful trade or profession. So that in these days of changing fortunes, they may have something tangible to fall back upon. Yeah, I can't, can't disagree with that sentiment, but I also feel a little personally attacked by it. But we won't get into that. Uh, yep, still all good. I'll just milk these barbarian settlements for everything we can out of them. Uh, yeah. We could go this way. This might actually be an idea. Maybe it's time for a counter-revolution. Does kind of suit my current needs at the moment more at the moment. How far are we? Still a long way to go. First Outback Station. Yes, that's Outback Station, not Outback Steakhouse. I don't think Outback Steakhouse is really an Australian thing. It's like Foster's beer, you know? That's just shit we give to the tourists. Nobody here wants it. Alright, universities. That's what we need. We're starting to sort of catch up. We're getting competitive with our research. Um, I don't know what I want here at the moment. I guess more science. He's not in a position to really take advantage of that at the moment, but um, that time will come. This music is sort of making me feel like I'm in a Godfather movie. You come to me. On the day of my playing Civilization. I know very little to nothing about Lady Six Sky. Well, that'd be an idea. I could do like our Civilizations research stream or research video one day. That might be a fun and engaging way to sort of teach and learn. I don't know, I'll think about it. Um, didn't need you after all. It's a difficult position with my money at the moment because I need to expand my territory, but I also need to buy builders. I might have to build them the old-fashioned way. Hey, somebody who wants iron. We might as well sell all these, because I have a feeling that we're going to reach a point in the game where everybody hates us. 
So. Yes. Beautiful. Several closely situated granite peaks resembling tiger's teeth dramatically soar about a kilometer into the sky. Perth. Okay. Okay. Yeah, start with a holy site. Got my eye on you. Course. You and me against the world, Chief. I'm still sort of ignoring most of the uh, deployment diplomatic uh, things they send me because it's like. With so many players, so many civilizations in the game, you sort of almost have to. Because they're never going to stop. Is it just me or has the music stopped? Brazilian vampire. Ah, oh, there's the music. Uh, you go up to Darwin and he pose menacingly out in the ocean. Get the turtle too. I want the turtle. Don't necessarily need the crab. But that's a luxury. The turtle is a luxury. Sheer bloody luxury. So, we've probably only got a couple more cities to, to settle. One and two. Then we're going to shift track into a more militaristic. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see. Yeah, I know, I know. Look at these vultures circling. 
Well, joke's on them, because I'm not even nearly dead. I forget there. That's a little bit embarrassing. Maybe I should build a... Yeah, I'll probably end up building a um, port there anyway, so that'll be fine. Hobart. And Colombia. Very fun Civ to play if you want to conquer the world. Okay, I think I'm going to need to get through your borders. God damn. Lisbon's still going hard. be kind of cool if I could build the uh, Golden Gate Bridge. God, imagine building a bridge to Hobart. That'd be so unnecessary. Be cool, but yeah, probably bankrupt the country. Ooh, 23. Nice. The three great elements of modern civilization. Gunpowder, printing, and the Protestant religion. No comment. Okay. So. As our Void Singers pushed back against the secular leaders of our state. We returned to our slightly more traditional way of living. But the seeds of popularism have been lit. The beacons of popularism have been lit and... The path we set upon, we were set upon by a militaristic monarch and may prove to come to pass regardless. I think, uh, yeah, I think that's still the best. So we don't have, we've only got one high population city. And our adjacency bonus relates directly to production. So I think that's the go. Even though our faith does also uh, project out into science and culture. I don't know, it's close. I like this track. I actually grew up around um, a lot of Indian classical music. As a certain... That holds a pretty special place in my heart. Hmm. 
probably build a dam. There would probably be the go. Maybe. 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 I don't know. Get some walls up for now. Try to worm our way through that clusterfuck. Get into the Mediterranean. I don't particularly want to start out the industrial in a dark age. I very much doubt we're going to get a golden age. We don't, can't feed our error score off barbarian camps like we've done the last couple of ages. So we are going to have to pretty radically rethink our ultimate strategy. Didn't even get air score for that, that's disappointing. How can you listen to this sort of music and not like it? Just so chill. Gets my neurons going. Note to self, we want to start building frigates very soon. I've headbutted my mic like half a dozen times while recording these videos, and so far it hasn't turned up on the recording. I've changed my audio settings. So if you hear something, don't worry. That's just my dumb skull. Don't even think about it. Yeah, I forgot to check when I started, what time I started recording, so really anyone's guess how long this video is going to go. I think I said that already. Oh yes, Eleanor, yes you may. So this type of dress she's wearing, it's called a Gates of Hell dress and it's kind of a, you know, this is like the, um, you know, conservatives would be outraged to see a woman wearing a dress like this because it shows her underdress and it accentuates the lines of the body. Thus the name, Gates of Hell. When we study the medieval, it's important to recognize that some things are so drastically different that we can't even sort of comment upon them. But when it comes to conservatives having uh, brain-dead takes, you know, some things never change. What's this? Politics in my video game? more likely than you think. Oh, Byzantium's uh, making the plays. Rebuilding the Roman Empire. Um. Huh. Why can't I... 
open borders with you. I guess because you've denounced me, that must be it. Yeah, fair enough. All right. There is. One knows not what sweet mystery about this sea, whose gently awful stirring seem to speak of some hidden soul beneath. For here, millions of mixed shades and shadows drown dreams, somnambulisms, reveries. All that we call lives and souls lie dreaming, dreaming still. Well, that's got a certain syncretism to my story. And somnambulism. Kiana, desirous of obtaining beauty, quickly entered into the water. The twin Aswins also, O oh King, sank into the sheet of water. And the next moment, they all came out in surpassingly beautiful forms and young. Hey, Teddy. How you doing? Yep, rocking it with the culture and science, as usual. He's a good leader. Um, Teddy, both in this game, and I'd say in prob I'd say in the real world, too. He's certainly, certainly. Hard to speak of American history without mentioning Teddy. Him and old stovepipe, you know, the guy who killed vampires. Abe. Honest Abe. Oop. Well, it appears that the game... Oh, I thought the game froze. We're good, we're good, we're good. That's prone to happening from time to time. Particularly when we're running such a massive map. You know, it won't take long before every inch of this map is covered, like every tiny island has got cities on it. It's going to get ridiculous. It's not the towering sails, but the unseen wind that moves a ship. So as I was saying, as I was saying, somnambulism is a fantastic word. It means uh, sleepwalking. Like som, like somnium, meaning sleep. And uh, ambulism, like ambulate to travel. I suggest you all add it to your vocabularies immediately. You can never have too many good words. Okay, now I can't remember if there's another wonder in here. There probably is. I think there's one like here or something. I don't know. I really don't know. Hey! Oh, Canada! Pa 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 pa! Um, which way do we want to go now? So we could try to go to gunpowder. That gives us a couple of good things. Shipyard. Yeah, we want shipyard. And then maybe industrialization even. Get that sweet ass air score.
Okay, Adelaide. What can you do that isn't useless? Now let's see, how did I work it out? That was going to be Sydney. That was going to be Melbourne. That was going to be Adelaide. That was going to be Brisbane. Right. So we'll lead in with our aqueduct, I guess. going to settle New Zealand. I mean, I understand if you were going to settle New Zealand. I mean, who wouldn't want to? New Zealand is a pretty sweet place. Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, Brisbane. Um, are we ready for our final settler? I think we are. Okay, with that. We finally have enough settlers to settle, I believe, all the available land on the southern continent of Terra Australis. Now our eyes turn outward to the sea. To the lands owned and coveted by other civilizations. The greedy whispers of nationalism. Indis indis uh, indistinguishable from the apocalyptic visions of the old ones. Or indeed, what could be more endless evil than the ambitions of autocrats, monarchs, and ambitious men? Yeah, let's say great scientist. Whatever. Doesn't matter. No, a great engineer point. In That's diplomacy, interesting. there are two kinds of problems. Small ones and large ones. The small ones will go away by themselves. And the large ones, you will not be able to do anything about. Huh. Let's go. It's swooping time. Christ. Just oops, all trebuchets. Limith. I didn't we didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. 
What do we want here? That'll do. We still only got one trade route option. I guess we haven't been working very hard. Oh man, we need to get those ships up, but we got we're building so many useful things. That's a struggle in this game. Never buy all the shit you want to buy. What the hell? Let's go. First frigate. We need to get them started. We need to get them started. Okay. What do you want? That's a good one. That's going to take away a lot of their available production, but... Sacrifices must be made. And that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make them take. <laughs> I realize the uh, game, the, the inherent sort of gameplay in this sort of game, particularly the, the game type I've chosen, does not exactly lend itself to a very fast paced viewing style, but. Kind of don't really care. This is um. This is a f playing uh, recording my video games. It's a kind of a fun way to experience. Um, it's a different way to play games. So far I'm having lots of fun just kind of sitting here in my room. Talking to myself. Streaming is on the cards, but not just yet. What else can I find around here? Well, I could make my way up here. Yeah, I'll go up here. I'll try to get the free... Um, Free promotion. Because why wouldn't I? Alright, I'll send you down there. And you can make your way over there. I should just buy a shitload of... You know what? I'm going to take that. That's a good deal. Yeah, I should buy a shitload of uh, builders now that I've got all my... All of the... Um, all the dudes up I want to have up. All the cities, rather. People can have the Model T in any colour, so long as it's black. Henry Ford, what a dick. You know, you're going to go straight into the Bermuda Triangle. I mean, it really is the shortcut back home, right? Let's get that coal up.
I have to get all my religious policies again. Oh, I, sh I actually haven't got my apostles up yet. Um, I, I haven't improved my religion. That's a good way to get error score, actually. Yeah, let's do it. I knew. I, I know. I said I was about to build a bunch of builders, and I still will. But um. Okay, so now you can't build ships, unfortunately. There we go. I was watching some uh, Jackie Chan movies last night. This um, this is making giving me flashbacks. This song. I'm a huge fan of Jackie Chan. Full ex full uh, expression. Full uh, disclosure. Especially '80s Jackie Chan. I was watching uh, Jackie Chan's Young Master, one of his big, like, breakout success roles, and kind of re-watching it for the first time in a long time, and I'm like, this movie is, like, a gay icon in a way. It was just so, I don't know. Yeah, I claim it for the queers. You know, conservatives, y'all can have your comic book franchises from the 80s and 90s. I'm going to have Jackie Chan. That's a trade I'm willing to make. Alright, what have we got? That'd be alright. That'd be alright. Actually, maybe we should go that one. Yeah. Oh look, we can name our caravel. Maybe we should name our ships after the old gods themselves. <laughs> the Glory Orca. <laughs> That's actually not a bad name. Um... The Nialafotep. Oh hello. I'm home. Come on, frigates. We do need more amenities, don't we? Not so bad. It's actually it's actually better than I thought. Hey, I thought my people would be more unhappy. Probably doesn't doesn't speak well to my leadership that I'm like, huh, I'm surprised that people aren't sad. Three. 
That'll do, I think. Okay, let's get Apostle number two. And now, next turn, we can start doing builders. Now, you're really not ready to make ships yet. Make our way back over there, and then we'll decide what to do with him. Oh. England and France have made peace. Scotland and France have made peace. Very honest people who do not think that they have had a bargain unless they have cheated a merchant. Mm hmm. Anyone who's worked in retail can attest. Oh, look out. These fellas coming down to cause trouble. Wow. And a few missionaries who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight. My mom said scared. Got scared? She said you're moving in with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. So you know what? I'm just going to settle it. Fuck. Design of an afterthought location, really. I don't really think there's too much I can do great with here. Okay, it's an alright. Alright, uh, campus location. We are going to need to field as feed ourselves from the sea. But probably that one, right? Yeah, what the hell? Sacred places. It suits our role play. Um, not sure right now. I'll hold on to that for now. Oh, we it's probably time to do some trading. Yeah, yeah. I'm wasting iron. Alright, what do you got for me, game? Those who in quarrels interpose must often wipe a bloody nose. 
And I take no shame to fight the lame if they deserve to cop it. So do not try to pipe your eye or with my flip of flop it. Norman Lindsay, the magic pudding. Humanism. Got so much I want to build here. I should really make a boat, hey. Because that's what we need. We need frigates. Not the ideal time to buy them. I don't have the kind of the upgrades, the experience boosts for them, but it should be all right. I do want to get involved in geopolitics as quick as possible. I'm like glaring at Port Moresby there. Oops, I forgot to do my trading because I'm a dumb dumb. Trade time. Whales, we got 50 iron. And let's say 30 diplomatic favor. This is a great little mod here called Quick Deals. Makes finding the best deals very easy. Not to Indonesia. Oh, frigate. Upgrade you. Yeah, we should bring back our explorers now. We've circumnavigated the world. Oof, that's rough. Okay. Time to rule the waves. So, who's on my shit list? Japan's on my shit list. Indonesia's on my shit list. And 
and the Maori are on my shit list. Basically all of my nearest neighbors. Not you, Hokeanga. You're cool, we can hang. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we want a third frigate. Moon Clan. Hmm. Oh, son of a... Who did I just lose? I lost one of my... One of my... I know it's one of my... Good dudes, too. Fast Strikers, they're fine. Long Vipers, they're fine. Antediluvian band, they're fine. The Desert Rats. R.I.P. Desert Rats. Yeah, I should have played it safer. Oh well. Live and or learn. What do mysterious currents give me? Plus one movement. Oh, I had no idea. That's cool. Huh. Got to be careful around that barbarian. Oh, you better believe I will have a great navy soon. Cool. I see you too are a man of culture. Renaissance is about to end. I think the human race made a big mistake at the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. We leaped for the mechanical things. People need the use of their hands to feel creative. Yeah, 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 absolutely cannot argue with that whatsoever. We made a lot of mistakes at the start of the Industrial Era. I mean, it was kind of the greatest thing for our civilization overall, but fuck. Unfettered progress is, uh... Comes with it a myriad of problems. Especially if it's progress for progress's sake.
you know what, let's sell some coal. Someone's bound to want it. There we go. Healthy economy. Steam power. Well, we could get some railroads up, but we don't have any uh don't have any encampment districts, so we can't actually buy the dudes to make railroads, but I should do some catch up techs. God, fucking waltzing Matilda intensifies. I cannot do it, Captain. I cannot waltz this Natil Matilda any more than she already is. We're at full capacity. God damn it, Mr. Scott. We need that waltzing Matilda drive at 110% capacity. The fuck am I even talking about? <laughs> Oof. It's been a long week of lying on my back healing. Feels good to be talking to nobody in a locked room, looking like a madman again. You know, living my truth. Indeed. Harold. With the A. As opposed to Harold with the O. For you to move on. Just buy one more builder. We've got to buy as many builders as we can because we're the age is about to end, isn't it? Yeah. Let's just go full ham. Not not the football club. Full ham, that's a place in Britain, right? It's like West Ham and I guess, like, full ham is like, I don't know, more ham than West Ham. West Ham is just part of the ham. Okay, we're about to get our frigates up. In theory, we should be able to do it with this. Actually, I should go. I should go for for steam engine because then I can upgrade these guys. Because um, it's entirely possible that Japan has a massive ass fleet that I'm not aware of. Oh, hello. Getting that guy on this map is such an incredible advantage. Betwixt the stirrup and the ground, mercy I asked, mercy I found. Oh, you can run.
think that gives me... Yes. God, I'm accumulating a lot of coal. I mean, that's that's realistic, right? Basically. Australia is... Um, Australia is the world's drug dealer when it comes to coal. When I watched the Chinese Olympics a while back and the whole stadium was so smoky you could barely see the athletes. Everybody was having respiratory problems and... Nobody could run at full speed because there was just the pollution was just so bad. Felt a little bit patriotic knowing that that's that's Australian coal killing all those people. Get butted the mic again. Maybe I should change my mic position. I read somewhere that pointing the mic down at your chest produces a better sound, but who knows. That warlord's thrown up. Just develop all the territory. Okay. Oh, it looks like you're done. I can. Yeah, I can move you on. Go to Derby. You go to Sydney. That'll give me a nice boost to tech. Mosby should be nervous. I was looking at uh, images of Papua New Guinea on Google Maps the other day, kind of remembering what it was like growing up there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. That's my Christopher Walken impression. Yeah. So who died? I think it was the antediluvian band. Unfortunate. Yeah. Looks like the old military order is collapsing, folks. Last hurrah by the barbarians. I think I'll just have enough to take him out. Gonna be close though. Okay, so pearls. I believe that's plus 25% 
faith in the city, so we're better off. Yeah, we're putting our industry here. Perth could use the boost anyway. I don't mind losing the antediluvian ban too much. Truth be told, I actually misspelled antediluvian. Speaking of good words to add to our vocabulary, antediluvian. Anti meaning before. Diluvian like deluge. Before the flood. Getting ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. People are going to start hating us. They're going to start sending spies. We're going to need some to do some counter spying. Ahead of me in tech. Oh, actually, oh, look at that. I've caught up to them in tech. They've got a head start on me, though. But their fleet isn't going to be nearby. Oh, these. you and me I'm lying I know I know you're surprised oh yes give us that good hacker <laughs> the war knockers <laughs> Let's do it, spell it right. Anti-Diluvian, I believe that's right. Except we're more modern now, so we're the Anti-Diluvian Core. This is not the Anti-Diluvian Band, this is just a tribute. Funny that the haka it sounds like they're saying gambate, which is like Japanese for like do your best. Develop all the locations. Here we go. We could wait for you, but you're gonna be you're not you're not gonna take long. You'll be there imminently. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. We enter the next stage of our game. Pointless aggression. Ooh. 
Big bada boom. It is on like Donkey Kong and Warlord's Throne. Oh, hello. did have a fleet in the area. Now... Do I get naval skirmishes? Mercantilism. Okay, we can get that next. to yoink your settler. This guy is exposed for counterattack. That could uh, turn out bad for me, but... We shall find out. Oh, this is getting, this is getting hairy over here. Finally got horses. <laughs> Basically the start of the industrial era where like, huh, these these big these big animals that are walking around here everywhere, like Hear me out, hear me out, this is gonna sound crazy, but what if we like climbed onto the back of them and like you know, they walked places? Except like we were actually on them? We're like, go home. Go home, Baz, you're drunk. Which, like, let's be real, the first guy to ride a horse almost certainly was drunk. Like a dare or something. Grand Master's Chapel. Buy land units with faith. This is what we are going to transition into. Um, we're going to need that harbour. So we're probably going to use this one to build more ships. The science is important, but um, we're sort of sitting at a good place in our science at the moment. We need a wall for you. We don't know where the Japanese counterattack could be coming from. You got your quad there. I don't think you can take out my frigate. But we're going to pull him back anyway, just to be safe. We've got the reinforcements coming. You're actually, oh, you're actually really close to a level up. God damn. You must not lose faith in humanity. Humanity is like an ocean. If a few drops of the ocean are dirty, the ocean does not become dirty. That's true. Very wise man, Mahatma Gandhi. Not everything he did was, you know, obviously perfect, but, um... We're adults. We can separate the good from the bad. Alright, we're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna trust in the level up. 
Because you're probably going to be shielded. Boom, bap, boom. Now this disaster zone happening over here, let's be real, I let this happen. And, uh, yeah. It was not a wise choice. And I'm basically going to lose almost my whole army over it. But that's civilization. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. I rested on my laurels. Yeah, we're not going to get to Golden Age. But we are going to get privateers. I'm probably reaching a two hour mark for this for this movie, for this uh, video anyway, aren't I? I have no idea. Like I said, I didn't check when I started recording. The whole theme of this series is me uh, not thinking things through. Alright, one more turn. You get that and then I can... Think about buying some more units with faith, maybe. That's fine. Hmm. Beard of the Evangelist. I mean, is is this your beard? Is this is this what you're selling me? Because you know, I'm gonna be real with you. It's a pretty sweet beard. It's kind of itchy, you know. I don't really like beards that much, but if I'm, you know, I'm not exactly gonna put it on my face. So, sure, I will take your beard. We should start build by buying some like um, granaries and stuff. So we got the gold now. Last builder. Oh man, this is this is not going well. I may lose my whole army over this. Head you to Sydney. Get thee to Sydney. We should have an encampment up, right? That would be a good idea. Now that's a fairly unimpressive location. Now... I could argue that I should save that for building aqueduct there, replacing the iron. Save that for an industrial zone, and that will be that one's industrial zone. So let's just stick our encampment here. Hmm. 
by your lighthouse and granary. Which I still don't have to granary there, which is insane. Oh, we're getting good amount of production here. Look at this. Oh, we got coal under the mausoleum, it looks like. Ancient dead things below the mausoleum? Who would have thought? Okay, okay, okay. Stop fooling around. Let's bring this to a head. Bring this to a conclusion. Just plug in our buildings. Uh, what doesn't matter too much. These guys are like the Gauls from the Asterix comics, you know? The last, uh, the last barbarian outpost hold, single-handedly holding off the Romans. Uh, hold off on that for a moment. I'll think about that next game. All right, here we go. Might not get it down this turn. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely not. Okay, you go there. Okay, one more turn. One more. T oh, you got your walls up. This just got more complicated. I should sell some stuff, fund my fund my war effort. Wow. By luring me away with the settler, they actually, they actually outflanked me here, got their walls up in time. What a play, and here I'm getting stomped by barbarians. It's all falling apart. And the industrial era starts. And our golden age ends. Probably want that, right? Every time I kill a non-barian naval unit. Yeah, I could I could build some scouts and send them off to the Americas, get some bonus uh, error score from their inland uh, wonders. Send one to Europe as well. And then I'm just gonna keep uh, trying to dominate the seas. That's the plan. It's all coming to pieces. You know what? I think this is a perfectly fine place to leave it on a cliffhanger here. So, our story for today. The colonization of the continent of Terra Australis was finally completed in supplication to the ways of the Old Ones, or so it would seem. In reality, one remaining barbarian outpost held out, and through their judicious use of horsemen, a technology that we only just gained ourselves and therefore greatly underestimated the combat application of the horsemen. They turned and managed to decimate 
the ranks of our elite crossbowmen units who had thus far held back the the uh, foot soldiers of the other barbarian tribes truly the half moon clan is rising to power this embarrassment of our domestic forces was met likewise with a humiliating display with our first outward maneuver of our new naval forces seeking to make a quick uh, work of Port Moresby. Our invading forces were lured away by the greedy promise of taking a settler. And although this was successful and in the long run, this settler will bring us much wealth and benefit. This allowed the Japanese defenders of Port Moresby to get their walls up in time. Compounding humiliation upon humiliation. The void singers are clear. The old ones are not happy with us. And thus, the arrogance of our expansion turns to the rage of unfettered conflict and a new, darker age falls over the Pacific region. Thank you so much for coming along. Um, we are going to get, uh, we're going to, we're going to get right into the conclusion of this saga soon. Our whole vulnerable workforce here just waiting to get taken out by their barbarians. Ugh, this is getting exciting again. We had a big uh, slow slump of development, but now we are back into it. We are playing the game. Thank you very much, and I'll see you all very soon. Swoop, swoop.